What's up guys? Remember back in the day when I did uh, cool technical videos? Well today we're going to look at 2017 Milwaukee oil pump versus a 2020 the latest and greatest oil pump because it's the same one in the 21s because that's current. You get the idea. I actually started this video um, like three weeks ago, a month ago. I meant to film this all day today. It's almost nine o'clock. Open a business, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Well, uh, that's PM. Uh, dirty, not this dirty at 9 a.m., I promise. Um, just wanted to start the video because I want to introduce you to employee number two. We're growing, we're a year in. <laughs> this is my year anniversary by the time you see this. Well, it's like a week away, but by the time I get this thing edited, it'll be there. So this is the shop currently, new record of bikes. This is 30 motorcycles, waiting on parts. Oh, waiting on me, waiting on parts, parts, parts. You guessed it, parts. That white fat bob up there, yeah, that's waiting on me. It just showed up today though, I haven't been that long. Uh, that one's done, waiting on me, waiting on parts, done. Parts, me and parts, done. Waiting on me, it's gonna be done tomorrow. Man, that's a nightmare. That one's done. Hey, that's mine this year. Uh, Man, what bike is that? Oh yeah, waiting on parts. <laughs> Done. Waiting on parts. Waiting on parts. Waiting on parts. Waiting on parts. That's waiting on me, but I'm probably gonna need more parts. And they're gonna be a back order. Waiting on parts. Yeah, that's me. It's broken. I'm waiting on parts. I'll introduce you to the new employee, the parts manager, uh, and service rider, kind of slash, you know, the, the do-all guy. Um, it's really important that you get to know him because he's the guy that's going to call you when your bike is done, probably call you for approval, and he's going to ride your bike up when you drop it off. He might even answer the phone. Did I already say that? So this is Tim. You might recognize him from, uh, well, previous videos. So Tim just graduated and he heads out on Tuesday, which is yesterday when you're watching this video. So congrats to Harrison. Put it in the comments. He's the man. Most recently, he is actually out of the army, which is the last time you guys saw him. He was a tech over at the now forbidding Harley Davidson, and he's here now. He's gonna do all of that stuff that has been kicking my butt for a year. This is, uh, you got, I made it a year, guys. <laughs> I forgot I didn't even post anything about that. Not even on Instagram or anything. But from that opening you just saw, you might understand why. Uh, quick look at the shop today. Uh, a month from when that other intro happened. And then we'll check out that old pump. One of my kids, one of my four kids, this one turned four, he has a fire truck here. I should probably do something about that. But otherwise, we have everything from big motor builds. You rolling out, Tim? Uh, give just a second. All right, later, buddy. As far as you guys are concerned, he's gone. Um, big 128 motor build, all the way to bike hasn't run in years. Um, you get the idea. Bikes everywhere, still different bikes than before. Uh, I even have a wreck, which is not something I actually like to do. Um, this may very well be the first time you've ever watched one of my videos. If that's the case, my name is John Maxwell. Uh, the once highly trained and professional open his own motorcycle shop. You are here at Maxwell's Motorcycles for this video. Really quick, basic oil pump information for all of the Harleys that I can think of right now is, well, pressure is driven by RPMs. That is why, part of why, your idle is set to what it is so that the correct oil pressure is, oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> we're good. Um, yeah, so that your oil pressure is correct. So this is from the back of the cam plate. You have a back plate that at some point it changed to a uh, different style. I'll show you the newest ish, the newest thing, but I'll, I'll go into that more. Backside is big fatty, big fatty scavenge gears. They're uh, wide. That pulls motor oil from the bottom of the crankcase. This is called a dry sump system. You got, well, I don't know if we use this, skinnier feed gears. So the feed gears actually sit against the oil pump <coughs> here. And as they spin around with the crank, they 
push oil. Let's see here. What's this big word? There's a big word for this. It's a gerotor. Come on, there we go. So this thing spins around and as it gets tight, it just pushes oil into the feed gear cavities where it's pulling from the oil pump, which I'm pretty sure is this side, pulling from the oil pan and then feeding it into up here through a hole, through the crankcase out of this hole and all through these ports and all that. So your uh, upgraded cam plate, stuff like that, it's all does that better. Um, you know, that's, that's the word on the street. So oil pump body, it pulls oil from here at the, you know, so it doesn't remain oil at the bottom of the crankcase and stuff. Pulls oil from there and then sends it back into the oil pan through here. Um, this O-ring missing or pinched that is a possible sumping situation. Probably should have mentioned that earlier than right now. That's why they updated the oil pump because everybody talks about the sumping issue, which I still have yet to have seen a bike that is not built up to stage three or stage four actually have a sumping problem. Not to be mistaken with the primary to transmission migration problem and all that. The first attempt at the Something issue is this O-ring. When you set all this into the case, which we are not gonna see today because I'm gonna try to keep this video short. I'll mention that in a future video, you know, when I post that in 2023 or whatever. But this sits up against the actual bearing in the crankcase, creating two separate compartments. Crankcase, like flywheel compartment and cam chest compartment. That way there's no, uh, you know, vacuum pressure or anything that's holding oil there. It's not keeping it from moving into the oil pump, um, which I believe was the initial problem, but don't know for sure. So we have here new wide scavenge gears. Let me count these really quick. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight. So that is what changed in the sumping problem is the, this is a eight lobe and the old one is a 10 lobe. Well, you think more is better, right? Well, if my not very smart calculations are correct, I believe what that means is that these are bigger gears, which would mean more oil is um, moved at, at a time, I think. I don't know that for sure. I'm not still in the um, Harley world of cool internal press release emails and things. That's just kind of my uh, understanding of how things work. And that's how I think that works, but not a very smart guy. So feed gears, as I set them up next to each other, look to be, I, I'm pretty sure they're the exact same. At one point for stage three and four builds, those kits would actually come with the pump body, the back plate, the scavenge gears, and you would transfer feed gears over. The way you buy this now, this is a box that a customer brought me. Um, this is actually, this is out of twin cooled model too. That's important. They're different, different oil pumps, twin cooled versus air cooled. Um, this particular part number includes everything so that he can do a new oil pump. I can actually get both an air cooled and a twin cooled style oil pump here at the shop. Uh, this customer just didn't know that. He already had it and called me to see how much it would cost to put it in. And lo and behold, uh, I got the best price in town. So yeah, that's uh, that's your old pump in a nutshell, kind of how it works. I'll be honest, I didn't really plan this out at all. I just kind of turned the camera on for the first time in really long time so that I could uh, explain that to you. I think the uh, Milwaukee 8 old pump has been through probably six or seven different versions at this point with the uh, 2020 being the latest and greatest. So anytime you are doing a cam job, anything like that, if you're not going SNS fueling some aftermarket company, it is recommended to do the oil pump upgrade. It's actually the only thing this customer is doing. He might come back and do a cam or something later, but he's got a big trip. He didn't want to put a bunch of miles on with that 2017 oil pump. So. Here we are. So that's pretty much it guys. Uh, if you like this video, 
Make sure to give a big dirty thumbs up if you have any questions. Throw them down in the comments. I might not answer them, but it might just spark next video's topic. And if you want to see more information like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you haven't quite got your fix, you want to see more videos, there's a video right here and here, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm not going to slap the screen. It's, it's uh, yeah.